So I'm in JW Wells State Park and I'm after my first of the uh, Michigan State Park Geo Tour today. Somebody's really good at drawing. So that one's not even technically a state park cache. There's another cache along this trail and it's about a mile one way to uh, the state park cache that's here. This is the Nominee River Recreation Area and uh, the river sounds really pretty down here so we'll get some shots of that. This is gorgeous and we haven't even gotten to the geo tour cache yet. Um, there's another cache just along the way uh, right here just down from uh, those rapids. So let's see if we can find it. You see it? This one's in bad shape. Really bad shape. So I'm about two-tenths of a mile from the cache. It's just kind of funny because most of them have been really easy within a few hundred feet of parking, and this one's a mile. I don't know what the thinking on that is, but I like it. This is a gorgeous hike. Okay, that cache was awesome. Um, I'm not sure which one is better, the one on the raft in the big spring or this one. I don't know, you be the judge. All right, I'm gonna grab a few counties in uh, Wisconsin just because I'm right here and because I have most of these southern uh, Michigan counties already anyway. So I'm actually getting close to where I'm gonna be camping tonight, so I'm probably gonna jump ahead to some of the stuff I had uh, scheduled for tomorrow instead. Alright, so I skipped ahead in my itinerary a little bit. I'm at Agate Falls. Um, this one is a puzzle cache, and the terrain rating is a 5 on it. I think I know why, but I guess I won't know until I solve the puzzle and see where it's at. Um, a lot of people are talking about that it's totally worth it to uh, go and get this cache, though. So, let's go see.
I made this way harder than it needed to be. There it is. So the reason I cut kind of abruptly there was I dropped my camera and my camera went falling down the slope and it totally trashed the kit lens. It, it is, it's done, it's kaput. It's just not doing anything. And I'm pretty sure it trashed my microphone too. I do have this lens, which is my wide angle lens, which doesn't have stabilization, which means I have to use the gimbal for it. And the gimbal is really heavy and I'm not sure I wanna tote that around all week. So that kind of sucks. Puts a sour note on that cache, which, by the way, should not have been a should not have been a five terrain. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go to the next one, and then I'm gonna probably head to my campground for the evening. I w I was so upset I didn't even find the other cache that was here. So I think that's going to do it for today. That was absolutely incredible. I spent almost an hour there. There was only two geocaches there. I just kind of spent some time just sitting and reflecting and just enjoying nature. I don't think we do that enough in geocaching, and uh, I did that here today. I had to come here today because this place is supposed to close at some point tomorrow. I don't know when. They're going to do a bunch of volunteer work or something here. So I went like 50 miles out of my way to come here today, and uh, my campground is way back that way. Um, but I think it was totally worth it. So, that being said, I'm just going to call it a day from here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.